All right, let's talk about my trick with inversion. Hajime! Welcome back to the Pole Vault Vlog. All we do is talk about Pole Vault stuff, and today we are just gonna review some videos and answer some questions. Was I got one from, I won't say the last name, but Mark asked, I would like to improve my swing inversion. How do you do it? How do I get my kids to hit their quads, get their quads up on their hands? You keep telling me to do it, but I can't get them to do it. I'll show you, I'll tell you some tricks. Ready, here we go. If you break the Pole Vault down into sections, um, most people say there is a swing and a punch. Now, you can call the punch an inversion, you can call it whatever you want. I've always just called it a punch. There's a swing and a punch. Now, I know you can break it down, but the pole vault is one fluid motion from the first step on the runway. It's all one whole. You can separate it into different chunks, but it has to work as a whole. And the swing and the punch is something that people split up too much. Even in their vault, they swing up and then they get stuck into this pocket kind of. I mean, it's more like this, like their butt's low and their feet are high. And then when the pole unbends, their feet kind of shoot out towards the bar. So I call it a swing and a punch, I say combine it into a swunch. If you can combine them into one thing, that's the trick. It's not a swing and a punch, it's a swunch. I know it's some made up goofy word I made, but hey, it makes sense, right? Sean, you're onto something. I can't believe that straw and that goofy little uh, note card makes all this sense. I know, I've thought about this a whole bunch. So I, I hope that makes sense. You can either bring your quads up to your hands or your hands down to your quads or a combination of both. Each athlete thinks a little differently, but there is not two separate things. They are the same thing. I'll, I'll show you some real life examples. I won't show you mine because, hey, that guy an, was an elite pole vaulter, so I can't do what he does. Well, all elite pole vaulters do is just things you do. Back at the end of April, I got a message from this kid named Zach who was just trying to to improve his vault. This was the original video he Actually, this wasn't the first video, this was the second video he sent me. And in his message, he was just like, hey, I'm a I'm a 10 foot vaulter. I, I don't really know what to do. My coach is, I don't really have a coach. Can, can you just kind of help me out a little bit? And I said, hey man, let's just get your plan up a little sooner. And this was the next weekend he sent me. He's like, dude, I PR'd by a foot and all I did was get my plan up sooner. If you watch this video, this plant is way earlier than it was. And then from there, we started working on his invert. Because as you can see, there really isn't much here. Now, fast forward to last week. This is after uh, helping him since, what, April, May, June, July, August, whatever, October. Seven months. Arms locked, arms up. Very, very great plant. And now for the swing, it's like a swing and he punches right out of it early. So he is inverted while, he is completely inverted while the pole still bent, which is, that's kind of what I look for. So then he's getting all the energy out of the pole. From a physics standpoint, that's what I really coach for. So then we were talking to Zach, we are like, all right, so skip, skip the swing and the punch, let's combine them, call it a little swunch. And then we talked about just landing deep into the pit and he's been doing a great job. Here's, here's a fast version of this. So you can kind of see it. It doesn't look like two motions. It's just one big long motion. Hands are hitting his quads. Let's see if I can just go. Boom, right at his knee, which is great. Cause instantly right on his quads, hand, quad. Nice turn, right hands on the right right leg, or I guess he's a lefty, so the left hands on the left leg. Left arms in tight, 
and that's an awesome jump. You know, he's just working on landing deep into the pit. And then from there, you just get on the right pole and it shoots you vertical instead of horizontally. So Zach's been talking to me for seven months and you can see the difference, it's, it's night and day. And I'm not trying to say that this is the only way. All I coach very physics-y, like how does the physics work? If your arm's up 100% straight, you're gonna get all the energy from your plant. If your arm's bent a little bit, you're losing energy because you just turned your elbow into a shock. You know, it, it softens, it takes some of the energy away. Same goes for when I want to see you completely inverted while the pole's still bent. And if you can do that, then you're going to get all the energy from the pole versus if you're another shock, you're losing energy. And Zach's been doing a really great job, been emailing me like every week or two, just like, hey, can, what's the next thing? What's the next thing? And there's been a couple weeks where I'm like, ah, we haven't fixed it yet. Keep trying. And he just does. Those are the kids you want. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. He, he's really fun to work with. So let's review the rest of these videos. This one's from Glenn Clovis and this is Julia. Take a peek. Oh man, killer trail egg. Yes, so good. Glenn was wondering how do you get them to hit their quads? And if you can see right here, she's going up great. And then there's this idea that, well, my feet are high enough. And I don't agree with that like I don't care how high your feet go I want to see how high your hips go and if you can watch the hips they're just not moving swing 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 now we're punching see how late that was compared to Zach's so I want to see it almost like skip the swing and just go straight from here to inversion you know it, it, it's gonna be impossible to end your swing early so just think I'm gonna keep swinging and then get up to inversion and then when you're up there Usually it takes care of the rest of this stuff, so we won't even pay attention to it. It looks really good though. I, it, it's the beginning ha half is a dream. Just that little inversion stuff. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, shoot me an email and I'll explain it better. All right, this is Sebastian. Glenn was saying he thought he was trying to pike too early, so let's take a look and see what happens. Looks pretty good, man. It's do one more peek at this thing. Oof, killer. I'm loving that. Yeah, this is a quick fix. When I see a kid kind of get stuck here it's and not get inverted all the way, it's usually this left hand's kind of the issue. So if you can pull that left hand into your chest, you're gonna be inverted a lot more and everything's gonna feel a lot better. Another way to think about it is, a lot of kids like to put pressure down the pole with their left hand, where really the right hand does all the work. The, the top hand's the steering wheel, the, the top arm's the engine and the bottom hand's the steering wheel. So if you're trying to power the car with your steering wheel, you're not gonna go anywhere because there's no engine in your steering wheel. But, so keep pressure going down through the top hand, but let this arm come in to steer your body so you can be more inverted with the pole. So if we watch this a little slower, you can kind of see him putting pressure down into the pole through that left hand. And then now we're at this like flagging angle, kind of an idea. And then you have pushing here instead of up. And it feels like a nightmare. She's like, why isn't it working? But it's not really a nightmare. You just gotta use your steering wheel to steer this hand into your chest and then keep pushing down with your right hand. You'll, that inversion will come a lot better. The rest looks really good though. I'm loving it yeah just too much bottom arm pressure man just a little more pressure with the top hand a little less with the bottom looks really good i hope that answered a bunch of your questions by the way does anyone remember taco grip i do because i'm wearing this shirt but i don't think they exist anymore <laughs> if you guys are still having trouble inversion i've made this really good video i'll put at the end of this video it starts if you can barely hang on to the bar and we'll get you doing boob because in no time. You just have to do it. That's the thing is you can't just watch the video and hope it goes into your brain and comes out of your body and turns into this. It doesn't work that way. You have to do the actual exercises. Last two things before we go. If I'm not going to make shirts this year, I'm running out of time and you know, it's just going to be hard. So if you guys want Team Hoot shirts, head over to Zazzle.com and you can create and customize your own Team Hoot shirt all you want. If you guys do get them, Shoot me, shoot me an email with you wearing them and I will send you Team Hoot stickers and sign some stuff for you if you would uh, like me to. I will be making my own shirts down the road. I just have to get back into the screen printing spirit. The first three people to send me questions every week for the rest of the, for at least the rest of this year, I will uh, send Team Hoot stickers until they're gone. So if you guys have questions and you would like me to answer them, 
you get free stuff. Free stuff's always fun. I hope training is going well. I hope everything is going well for you guys. Remember, I am making these for you, so if there is something I'm not saying and you want information on, you just gotta let me know. Or if you're sick of my face and me making these vlogs, let me know too and I'll stop making them. So I just would like some feedback. Let me know. With that being said, life's meant to be experienced and curiosity will get you there. I will see you guys tomorrow and there will be another pull-up vlog next week.